should watch this video. You should watch this video if you're a part of the learning and development team of your organization or you're an operations and technology leader wanting to understand the application of AI across learning and development function. In this video, specifically, we are going to focus on the application of AI in learning and development training needs analysis. The digitally transformed world that we live in today has a rapidly changing skill map. The average shelf life of a skill has reduced to as low as five years, and hence the need to be agile to keep pace has grown exponentially. Let us look at the top 10 soft skills required in 2020 and compare it with 2015. Significant change, wouldn't you say? Creativity and critical thinking have moved up. Emotional intelligence and cognitive flexibility are new skills that have been added. Cognitive flexibility in many ways is like parallel processing. It is the mental ability to switch between thinking about two different concepts and to think about multiple concepts simultaneously. The top 10 hard skills are How many of these would you have recognized back in 2015? Barely any. The global training spend in 2019 was $370 billion, a growth of 40% in a decade. To hire and retain talent, organizations will literally have to become learning campuses and ensure that they own the lifetime learnability of their employees. The first and the most important step in setting up a learning campus is to establish training needs. Now, unfortunately, this is the first step that is usually most rushed and is never done properly. Training needs analysis is conducted at three levels. However, most organizations manage to complete the first two levels only. Individual level done manually is a highly time consuming and intensive process and therefore is usually left incomplete or done in parts. The data and information needed to assess at an organization level is business goals, employee and skills inventory, customer satisfaction data and organization culture, usually easily available. Next, you look at the operational level, which is more detailed, but again available with each of the operation and functional HR heads. Data like job description and specifications, work performance standards and metrics. The third level is the individual level, which is most challenging as you need to get into a lot of data mining across the organization. Performance appraisals, skill assessments to interviews, all of this data need to be collected for each employee, analyzed, and then you can put the whole story together. Imagine, even for 100 employees, it's a lot of data. And when you're talking of 100,000 employees, it's a mammoth task. Artificial intelligence can be of great help here as its biggest claim to fame is that it can process large amounts of data in a fairly personalized manner at relatively lower costs. Let us see how we can use AI adaptive testing for assessing skill gaps. Adaptive assessments work both for hard and soft skills, and they work by leveraging the IRT or item response theory model. IRT focuses on the difficulty of each individual item or question rather than the overall assessment. As users answer questions, the adaptive assessment assesses the likely skill level of each individual based on increasing probability, depending on the difficulty level of each question answered. Because you calculate the probabilities of an employee's capability level, it becomes unnecessary to serve up all the questions in the assessment. Thus, you replace the traditional long-term assessments with short form tests. If you were to plot the probability curve, it would look like this. As the ability increases, the probability of answering the question goes up. For example, at ability five, the probability is 0.98, and at zero, it's 0.5. Iris from Pluralsight is an AI-based adaptive assessment platform, which combines adaptive testing theory with machine learning to create statistical models for skill levels. To stay current, Iris adapts and collects data on trending technologies in terms of which are popular and what is getting obsolete. For soft skills, you could create a host of psychometric tests on many areas and run them on an adaptive learning platform. Personality tests are a method of assessing human personality constructs. They infer how an individual will think, 
behave and feel. That in turn can predict an individual's performance at work when it comes to management style, performing under pressure, ability to handle crisis and ability to influence others. Cognitive tests. These tests are all about measuring individual competence and technical performance at work. Let's summarize by identifying the benefits of adaptive assessment. The first one being it's highly accurate. By starting with a question of average difficulty, depending on whether the employee answered it right, the next question will be harder, or if not, then the next question will be easier. So like this, with each question, you keep narrowing down to the next and next level of ability. Second benefit, positive employee experience. As you can imagine, given the test is so personalized and customized, the low performers are not discouraged because the questions become easier and easier, right? And the high performers are not bored. So they keep feeling the challenge and the motivation to answer the next question correctly. Benefit number three is innovative and leading edge. The dynamic and interactive back and forth between the test and the candidate enabled by artificial intelligence allows you to very accurately nail down the candidate's capability levels within no time. Do you want to deploy an adaptive learning platform? Do share your thoughts in the comment section below.